Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 26 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, you can already see it, our dupes are getting carpets in their bedrooms as well as in their entertainment room. But that is of course not all I have planned today. I have one special project in mind that I really want to get into, but for that we have to do some research. So I would say let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So I would say let's turn our overlay back on and then let's just jump right into it. Yes, right here. We need to take this material study terminal right here and we need to plop it up here. And we need to expand this here just a tiny little bit. We need a second red bolt generator that I'm just going to plop. Yeah, probably right around there should get the job done. And then red bolt reflectors. We cannot set this here up until it is built, but we already know where it's going to go. It's going to go right here. So let's build this thing. And from right here, we should make it perfectly down to here without any dupes being in the way. That is, of course, a very good start, but that is not all. We need more radiation. Let's plop us two more tiles right here and then maybe even where else can we plop one? Maybe right here as well. Yeah, I don't see how that would harm anything. We may have to plop in more auto sweepers or anything along those lines, but we will see how that goes first. All of this here needs to get built. So dupes, let's have at it. Now here at the end of cycle 515, everything's built. So let's plop in some infrastructure that is definitely needed. So let's get started with the power. We are just going to make our life as easy as we can. So we're just going to grab the main power and we're just going to bring it through here because there's really nothing that's going to stop us. And that is really all that's needed as well. Then we need to make sure that this here is getting planted. So let's copy the settings over from this one here, there, here, and then here as well. But we can't yet because this ladder is still in the way. But currently we still need the ladder. That is important. And then our auto sweepers right here. Let's see. We may need one more from the looks of it. I think all of this here is reachable. But what if we plop one? Let's see. Right here. Yeah, that would be the perfect position, I believe. The only problem with that is, yeah, we still have that ladder in the way. So let me check this here out exactly. As soon as all this here is built, we should be almost ready to roll. We are actually ready to roll because we already have radiation in the way here. But I wanted to get a little bit more, a little bit more efficient. So let's get this here built and then we will go from there. Meanwhile, in space, old Jamster here, yeah, he is a little bit bored because look at this here, the telescope says area completed. So I would say let's take a peek. What are we actually looking at? And look at this here, Frisera. Okay, so how much further can we go with our rocket? Of course, that is the next question. We have seven tiles remaining. So let's change the destination and let's come all the way to, yeah. Why not? Something like this here, maybe. Three tiles over here. We can still easily get back home. No problem. That is very, very good, of course. And Chemster can see a hell of a lot more in this general area as well. Definitely good all around. Chemster, get it done. And let's make sure we get you home safely once your mission is done. Meanwhile, over here on Abundino, yes, we are also looking really, really good, not gonna lie. Yes, our full Rodriguez here is working exactly as intended, and there is no problem at all. It's actually really, really great, and I can't complain about anything here. So, yeah, what could we do? There's really only one thing. We could put a little bit of carpet in here. Why don't we do precisely that? We have left this here intact because we didn't need to touch it, but now we might as well make it a little bit nicer. That's, of course, in base and not in furniture. And we're just going to come all the way along here and all the way along here since the dupes are spending quite a lot of time in this area. So I might as well have it a little bit nicer. But other than that, I honestly don't know a lot else that we can do here for this very moment. Yeah, that is basically it. Here we will have to go to space and build us a rocket platform eventually. But also that is really on the back burner right now until we can get our research up. So let's put a bottle empty right here and then we will just fill this here up and then we will dig our way to space. Our Atmos suits are properly docked and full with oxygen, so we might as well get ready to use them. And here we have it, our new and improved version of our material study terminal setup. Yes, it looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie about it. Look at this here. The radiation levels are very good in this areas right here. Yeah, 1150 rads right there and 1600 right here. So they're almost equal and that is perfect. And then over here where our dupe is standing, which is basically in the middle of this console here, it is at about 160 rads and even over here it's 500. It is perfectly fine 
fine because the dupe is not standing here that long every cycle. And as soon as Champster is back, we will have two dupes working this area. So it's really not that big of a deal. Not gonna lie about it. But what are we actually researching? Let's take a look. Currently, we are going for the petroleum engine. Yes, the big boy. And as soon as we have this one right here, the next one on the list is all the way back here. The high velocity destruction, which gives us the drill cone and the drill cone. Yeah, that is, of course, exactly what I'm going for. And what we are going to do with it, you will see very, very shortly, I hope. It's going to be great. Just mark my words. On Ingenium though, we have a couple of other problems, so I would say we're gonna tackle those right away. One I just noticed, and it has been going on for quite a long time, and I'm not happy about it, because right here, yes, the heat is bleeding into this area, and that is the only way the heat is bleeding in, and that must have been going on for quite a while because this cool steam went here. Yeah, we built this enclosure a long, long time ago. So I would say, let's do something about this here. We are going to come all the way down to here, and then we're going to come over and build down here. Something just like this here should certainly get the job done. Now I just need to tell the dupes manually to dig this up, and then this, and then this, and then this, and so on and so forth. And then we are going to build this entire row here all the way down, which should at least slow down the heat bleeding quite drastically. So that is certainly a good improvement. We're going to keep this area here cold, because currently we don't need it for anything else. Then second on the list is this area down here. It is pretty inefficient. And why is that you're wondering? Well, because we are bleeding heat out. I forgot the vacuum chamber right here. So I would say let's plop one in right away. Let's see how are we gonna do this right here, right here, right here, and right there. Yeah, something like this here should get the job done. We need to get this here built. We need a ladder right here so the dupes can come over. Then we're gonna close this here off, open it up, fill this here with oil, and then we are just creating a vacuum in this area right here. And that should then establish that all the heat stays in here. It will bleed into the screwed oil, but in the reality, it's already at 60 degrees anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. We just need to make sure that we keep a vacuum right here and no heat will bleed out. So dupes, let's build this here as well while we are waiting for our research. Meanwhile, up here in space, Chemster is having a snack because he has completed the next area. So let's take another look at the star map and see what we have found. A rocky asteroid field right here with sedimentary rock, igneous rock, copper. Okay, almost 80 tons worth of mass. That is certainly nothing to scoff at. And down here on the bottom, we have a sandy ore field with copper, sandstone, sand and algae. Okay, we could definitely use a little bit more copper and sandstone. Yeah. That is probably going to be our first target, our first test flight, as soon as we have our drill cone. So I would say, Chemster, not like this, though. We are going to send you back home. Chemster, get back here, and as soon as you are back, we will see what we can do next. Over here on Ingenium, while I was getting Chemster back, yeah, mistakes have been made. All the salt water escaped, or at least almost all of it. Which is really not the end of the world, but at the same time, it's also not optimal because now it's all down here. So now I need to put all insulated tiles in here so the heat doesn't bleed over into our base. That is certainly another thing that we don't want. We don't want it bleeding over here, but we definitely don't want it to bleed over here either. So that's what the dupes are currently working on. I could save a little bit of water by putting one tile right here because exactly here is where it broke. So now I put in an entire wall here, slowly but steadily, but thankfully that is not the end of the world. While we had a disaster happening on the top, down here on the bottom, we are looking really, really good. Yes, we already have a vacuum in here, and we have our oil right here as well. The oil came from this pipe right here that was already here. I just repurposed it. We used it earlier, if you remember, to get this water here in, this polluted water to be precise. Then I just plopped in a pump, pumped it all out. It took no time at all. It's only six tiles here in the middle. Really not a hell of a lot. And yeah, the dupes just have to clean up a few more pieces down here. Other than that, we're looking really good. Even on a temperature overlay, this oil here has already cooled down drastically. And over here, this oil here needs to heat up drastically so we can get rid of this tiny little bit of salt water that's here. So this here is now fine and I don't have to worry about it anymore at all. Now, we really need to get research done. What else can I do to speed that up? Meanwhile, over here on Abundino, we do have our carpet, which is a really good start. But we need to go further than that, and I think I just have the right idea. Right here we have a wrecked satellite, which is of course very, very good, because this wrecked satellite has a lot of radiation. And as a matter of fact, we don't only have this one, we have another one here, and another one there. And other than that, satellite-wise, we are out. Okay, that is all the satellites we got. But this one right here is in a pretty good location, so I think it is time to exploit it. 
We are going to come all the way up here with our ladder, all the way to, yeah, where can we go? Right here, that should get the job done. Then we're going to go to utilities and we're going to grab us a drywall. And the drywall has to go, not entirely sure, all of here, that's for sure, all of there, that's for sure, and maybe even here and here. Let's be super safe. I do not want all of our oxygen to escape into space. That will be really, really bad. So we are really sending the dupes up here for a very short period of time. I hope they get it done because that is a lot of radiation right here. That is no joke. But we need to get up here very briefly. And as soon as we have this here, we can make sure that we can get a red bolt all the way down somewhere around here, maybe. And then we will make sure that we have a research station there as well. Meanwhile, back on Ingenium, Chemster apparently made it home from the looks of it. So let's take a look into the interior. Yeah, Chemster did indeed make it home. Very, very good. But back on the planet's surface, we can start the next thing. And that is a rocket platform. And the rocket platform, you know, I'm just going to plop it right here, smack dab in the middle. And we're going to build it out of anything. Because the only thing that we need for this new rocket here will be petroleum. No oxygen and nothing else. You're probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about? How can a dupe survive in space without oxygen? Well, I do have a very special plan for that. And you will see very, very soon. And now in cycle 522, all of this here has been built. We are looking really good. So I would say, let's take a look at it. First of all, let's give a cleanup command so we can get rid of all this stuff right here. So it looks a little bit nicer. But other than that, we are looking really, really good. So in the radiation overlay, we can see at the solar panel, we had 1,664 rads per cycle. And right here, the red bolt generator itself. Uh, where are we at? Already on the top. Yes, 166 red bolts per cycle. That is a lot of of rat bolts but other than that we're looking really good you're probably wondering how did the dupes even survive this much radiation well a dupe does not die until 900 radiation and they did not spend a hell of a lot of time here it was of course a team effort and i did keep an eye on them that is that simple now all this radiation they will just pee it out over time it's really not that big of a deal. But our repo comes out of here, the generator, flies over to the reflector, and then straight down into the material study terminal. And of course, we have also our standard automation setup. Pretty simple and straightforward as usual. Of course, there is a slight risk here, but I'm willing to take it because honestly, I don't care. It'll be fine. Those red bolts here are coming in so infrequently, somebody would have to stand right here, right at this moment to get hit. And even then, it's not the end of the world. So let's run it. Let's make sure we get the rest of the research in. We're currently at 305 out of 370, so we are almost there. And now I would say we wait until that actually happens. There's almost one thing that I forgot right here. Yes, and that is our atmosphere dock right here. Of course, yes, our dupes are digging into space and they actually just reached it. So let's take another look at this system here real quick because there were some questions down in the comments. We have this oxygen coming along here all the way from the bottom. And yes, of course, this oxygen here is infested with food poisoning germs. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because Atmo suits do not care about it. We are just feeding it straight in there and the dupes will never know. And the Autoslav right here, he's proven it. Yeah, he even takes a nap in it. Isn't that something? It's absolutely no problem at all to put germ infested oxygen into your atmosphere. Do not worry about it at all. And just now in the night from cycle 523 to 524, research completed. Yes, we have actually done it. We have the petroleum engine. So let's go right back into research right away and come back up to get our drill cone next. And we can already build the general outline of our rocket. So I would say let's do precisely that. First of all, let's get started right here with a new rocket and we of course need a petroleum engine and we're gonna make it from steel. So let's plop that in first. Second of all, we need a spacefarer module. So let's plop that in right away as well. Then we need, please don't do this to me again. Oh my God, I hate when it does that. We need a, a large solid oxidizer tank. We're gonna plop that in. Then on top of that, we need a, a large, where you at, liquid fuel tank. Let's plop that in as well, of course. Then we need a trailblazer module. Plop it in like it's nothing. Then we need a battery. Where is my battery module? There it is. And then two solar panels. And that is already all of it. No, it's not. We need a cargo bay, of course cannot do anything without a cargo bay. So I would say we build all of this here first and then of course we're going to put a rocket cone on it as well. But for that we need to grab us a ladder and we need to come up here and let's see where does it work. Right here. Right here we can come all the way through to the top. 
And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We're going to come all the way to there and then over right here and then all the way to the top once again. So all this here needs to be built. We need all of it. We don't have a choice. And then we are going to put a, another tiny, tiny little drill cone on top of here. That is going to be our rocket. And it's going to be very interesting what we are going to do with it. And right here, the petroleum engine has been built at the same height as the small petroleum engine right beside it, of course. And when we start to zoom out, now we can see how much bigger this rocket here is going to be than the two right beside it. So we are going to build all of this here and then we're going to plop a drill cone on top of it. But that is certainly not going to happen today. For the last thing that I want to do today, I have prepared a little something. So let's go into power and then let's grab our solar panels. And you can see we have 2,700 kilograms worth of glass. Yeah, I have been hoarding glass this entire episode. So let's plop in as many as we can, which is apparently this many. Then let's go into our F2 overlay, grab us this thing here and come all the way through. And the further the dupes will build, the more we will see and we can plop in even more more that should help out with our power production down here on the bottom as well and yes the glass forge is still in use we still have 49 glass to make and we are just going to keep on making glass because well who is going to stop us but that is all i have for you today so if you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and of course comment down below you guys know it i'm always happy to hear from you and address any questions you may have and with that i say thank you and peace